Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to show you how to do a full width um, drop down navigation. So for this assignment, we will be building out um, this navigation. So for this assignment, um, you only have to focus on the navigation. Um, so the, the main navigation. So I want the, the logo here in the left, and then I want, um, you know, your product solution resources as drop downs and then the research stories and work from home. These are just links. Okay, so these will be kind of like your default buttons that are built into your navigation. Um, you can ignore the any of the secondary navigations. So right now they have, um, you know, a, a sale. So you can ignore that. Um, and then this kind of secondary navigation, you can ignore that as well. So as long as you have just this navigation here, um, in this video, I will go over how to add this search bar, um, but it's not mandatory. I'm not going to ask you to for sure add that. All I want is the logo and then these six items here in the navigation and these first three should be drop down. These last three should just be links. Okay. Now, I'm just going to show you how to make these full width. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to find our nav bar. Okay, so by default, our nav bar gives us three buttons that basically are going to be these last three, right? Because they're just links. So research stories work from home. So I'm just going to put them in here. Research. Oops. Uh, stories. work from home. Okay, so now we have these three um, and that's fine. I'm going to throw in my logo in here just while I'm here. Uh, give me a second. I thought I had this in here. Home. Logo. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to throw my logo in there. And then I want three drop downs within my nav. So I'm going to add drop down. Okay, I'm going to make sure I select my drop down, copy, paste, paste. Okay, so now I have one, two, three. So product solutions, solutions, resources. So now I have all my items technically in my navigation, but you know, it doesn't really look very good and it's not full width. Um, or sorry, my drop down is not full width. So if we look, if we scroll, we'll notice that our navigation stays in place. So um, this is kind of a, I guess, a fixed navigation. It's technically sticky. Um, and what I mean by that is you can see at the very beginning when I start scrolling, the navigation isn't actually fixed, but it's going to fix until basically my scroll gets to the point where my navigation starts. So you can see just when it hits that point, it becomes fixed. So it's, it's kind of like halfway fixed. So we're just going to pretend again, since these top two aren't going to exist in our project, um, we're going to ignore them. And then all we really need is for this to be fixed, right? So we just want it to sit on top of all of our content and stay put. So no matter where we are on our website, we have access to our navigation, which is really helpful for a website this large, right? And we don't have to scroll all the way back up to get to somewhere we need to go. So, what we're going to do, we're going to select our nav bar. Um, and then over here on the right, we want the position to be fixed. So I'm going to pick fixed from the from the drop down. And now you'll see that it kind of is only going to take up the amount of space of what is inside of it. Right. So you can see it's no wider than that. So what we can do is underneath the position fixed, we can actually tell it where we want it to fix. So you can see here that it's relative to the body and the body is this whole space. 
So we can tell it to fix to the bottom. So, you know, no matter where we scroll, it's going to stay here on the bottom. You've probably seen websites that do that. Um, you could fix it to the right, the left, wherever you want it. In this case, we just want it to fix to the top. So I'm just going to show you kind of what that looks like. I'm just going to throw in a, a background, um, background image just as an example. Yeah, I'm just going to use that for now. Okay, so now you can see when I scroll, the navigation is staying put. Okay, so that's good. That's what we want so far. Um, the next thing, you know, let's just make it white. Okay, so the next thing we're, we want to do is we want these links within our drop-down list to also be 100% width, or I guess the, sorry, the container that our links are inside. So if we click on our link, uh, oh my gosh, my stomach is rumbling. Okay, so we have links and inside, uh, or sorry, our links are inside of a drop-down list. So our drop-down list is basically a wrapper or a container in which all of our links live. So we want this list to be full width. But what we can do, for some reason, this is the only thing that I can find that like really works, is we're gonna also give it a fixed position. Okay, it was kind of fixed by default before anyways, but now it's basically just pulling it to be 100% width. Now you'll notice that it is kind of auto positioning based off of its parent container, which you can see is this drop down. So just by default, it kind of lines up to the left, but we want it to be all the way over here to make it look full width. So instead of auto, all I want to tell it is that I want it to be 0% or zero pixels um, from the left. So I'm just going to hit zero and hit enter. Okay, so now it's basically just listening to what I told it. Want it's just being, you know, it's fixed, so I can scroll, and it's staying put, and it's just exactly flush with the, with the left-hand side of my body. Okay, so now uh, my drop-down list, I'm just going to make this white, just so I can do it all at once. Now, if I open these, I have this large... Um, white space on either side of these four columns. Okay, so I can either use grids or I can use a column. Um, I'll leave it up to you. Um, I'll, I might just use grids for this example. Um, I think a column should work, but these are basically just a stacked list of links, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just throw in a container in here just so it has, you know, it has it's centering itself and it has a max width because I don't want them to be too wide. So I'm going to put my container. Okay. And you can see my container is just right inside my drop down list, which is kind of the main container here. And then I'm going to throw in a grid. I'll make it have four columns. Done. And now I can just drag and drop these links inside the grid. Okay. I can copy paste whole bunch in here. Okay, I'll, whatever. I might actually make these one, two, three. I'm actually going to undo that. Um, I might make these have multiple rows. So like this might be a row. Um, we'll see kind of when we get there. I'm sure you guys will have your own solutions as well. Um, but just for the sake of this, I'll just keep it kind of like this for now. Um, just so, you know, we can see it looks like this. Now, if I open my other two drop downs, um, they still look like the original. So what I can do is I can go through that whole process again, or, you know, I probably should have done it this way in the first place. I'm going to just copy paste. Uh, oh, 
solution. I'm going to delete that. Let's see. Did it copy? Yeah. Okay. So sometimes it's just easier to do it once and then copy paste it. So resources is the next one. So I'm going to copy paste. Might be better to completely finish one and then duplicate them two times so that you just will have to change the text of what's inside them. Um, but again, just for sake of timing, um, let's just keep it like this for now. Okay, so we're getting there. Now, I want all of these to be Vera songs. I'm going to add my font. Okay, so remember if you don't have it yet, you can search Fira Sauce. I want kind of bold and I want maybe a, like a light version. I'm going to click add font. Okay, so now it's in there and then I can go back. It's this one. Okay, so now I want this to be my drop down. Fly or something, so I'm gonna add my class. Vera. I think this text is really quite big, so I think it's something like 18 bold. I don't know, I don't really love the look of these. Um, then I will give the same class to all of them. Okay, now we ran into a bit of a problem. So because I had to make my font so big, it's actually taking up quite a lot of space. And so it's not allowing my uh, my logo and all six of my item menus to fit within my nav. So uh, if I look at the Herman Miller site, you can see that the nav is actually really quite large. Um, it's or wide, I guess. Ours kind of cuts here, but theirs goes here. So. If we think back to, um, I believe it was last week's videos, um, we can actually give our container a custom, um, a custom class and tell it what size to be. So container just by default, I think is 940 pixels wide, but uh, I might call this container wide. Now I'm gonna give it a max width Okay. It doesn't really let me, for some reason, it doesn't really like that. So I'm going to just give it a max width. I might say 400, or sorry, 1400 pixels. So I can kind of look. Eh. It might be a little bit wider, but that's okay. So if I squeeze it, you can see that it just has its max width and it will squish once it gets a little smaller. Um, the next thing I'm going to add on this container wide is, actually, maybe I'll try it on my nav. Nope. I'm going to add it on my container. I'm going to give it a flex. I want it to be centered because um, my icon was kind of hitting the top like it you know, normally would. But I want it centered, and I'm going to just try to click... Uh, we did this last time. How did I do this? Hmm. This happens to me every time I have it, and then as soon as I go to take a video, it doesn't want to listen. You know what? That's fine. That's good enough for now. Okay. So I have all my items. Um, okay. Anyways. Now, what else? So I'm going to show you just how to do this little search button. Um, it's actually really quite easy. So what I'm going to do is under components, okay, they actually have a little search component here that I'm going to put there. Now, that looks like not good, okay? 
So what I can do is I'm, I can just delete this field, okay, where it said search. I don't technically need that, so I can delete that. But if I try to delete my search button, it actually won't let me because it's a form technically and forms technically need a button in order to submit the form, right? Um, in this case, uh, Webflow actually builds out, if you actually click search, it builds kind of a search page for you. Um, you can try it out after, but we don't want this button here either way. We just want to type and hit enter and have it do its thing. So all I can do is hide it. So it's, you know, maybe not the best solution in the world, but, you know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. So one other thing is that the search just by default adds some padding and some margins. So I just kind of got rid of it here. Okay. Um, Okay, um, yeah, so I just tried doing, so instead of having a max width, I can do 100%, um, and then it just kind of, it cleans it up a little bit. So now I have this, it's on the right-hand side. This is all centered, and the logo is to the left, and that's all because of our display flex, right? We have our justify um, space between, which basically means it's going to kind of, push everything kind of to the left and the right, and then everything in between is going to kind of have an even gap in between. Um, if we look, our drop downs are all inside of a div called nav menu by default. So really it's div, so one, two, and three, and they're all kind of evenly spaced in between um, this navigation, okay? Um, So it doesn't look like it because I'm clicking all three of these. It doesn't look like it's changing because we currently have all like all of our um, items in the dropdown are all the same. So I might just go. Uh, let's just go healthcare. Okay, and I'll do healthcare or just to show you the difference. Okay, so you can see I'm clicking between these, and it's kind of reopening new um, new drop downs even though there's no like animation or anything like that. Um, icons. Okay, so by default drop downs give that um, the kind of toggle uh, arrow. Um, in this case we don't technically don't need it because our products solutions Herman Miller website doesn't have it. I don't think that's the best UX, but you know, we're gonna do it because that's kind of that's what the design told us. So maybe there's a reason. Okay, so because of that little icon, it gave all of the drop downs an extra 20 um, pixels, which I didn't need. So these are still drop downs, even though we don't have the little drop down menu. Now, the last thing I'm just gonna go over is because this navigation is fixed. It actually sits on top of everything. So well, I can't, I'm just trying to show you, but if this picture, you know, it's actually kind of all the way up. So you can see like where this blue is, my image is actually going all the way up here. So depending on my image, it might actually be cutting off some content of my background image. So what I can do is I'm gonna select my nav bar. Now, this is just, I find kind of an easy way to, to know certain things. So I'm just gonna give it a height. Uh, 60 looks pretty good. I'm just kind of giving it just a, a number of kind of what it was anyways. So I'm not really changing the height of it. And now my section, I want it to have a margin of 60 pixels from the top. So now it almost looks like this navigation is a display block and it looks like it's pushing down the content, but really it's floating above everything else. Okay, so it's just kind of a little, a way to kind of cheat just a little bit. Um, 
And yeah, so that's our navigation. If it looks like this with, you know, just make your links in there, make it as good as you can. Um, I realize we're all still learning. So, you know, just really try the best you can um, to figure out, you know, get as far as you can. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Are these links working? Yeah, they are. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's all you really need for your nav. Make sure it is responsive. Um, what you can do is you can actually hide things. So if you don't want your search on the small size, you can see here that it actually, again, doing display block versus display, um, you know, let's see if I make my nav, let's see if they have it fixed. Okay, so they do have it fixed on their smaller size. So it's good to stay fixed. Um, I can change my display. Okay, so rather than it be flex, I don't know, it, it's up to you the way you want to do it. Um, I, I realized that your the way that they're, oops, the way that their page looks on smaller sizes, I'm not expecting you to do because it's, again, needlessly more work than you need to do. Um, so they kind of have these like drawers. Um, you do not need to do this, okay? You can make it just look like this. Um, one thing you'll notice is if you open it, this, because it's fixed, again, it's floating on top of everything meaning now I can't see the solutions and resources underneath because this is kind of floating above. So let's see if this will work. Open, oops. I want my drop down list. It's currently fixed. Let's see if I make it static, there you go. So I can still scroll, so it's still kind of fixed. So now if I preview it, okay, it's actually pushing down the content below it, um, which is nice because then I can just see search. It's not hiding anything from me, okay? Um, I just want to make sure that, you know, when you get to a smaller size, the only thing I'm really going to be looking for in this assignment is that I can actually read all your links. So here it kind of, yeah, it works. It's fine. Um, You, I would probably rather these all take up their own space, um, at least on mobile. Um, so let's see if we go up. Yeah, so remember it trickles down when you do something like that. Um, if you drag things around like that, uh, um, one thing is <laughs> these do glitch out sometimes. I apologize, I realize been happening to a few people. Um, but as long as on the mobile, you can read the links and they're not getting cut off like this. Okay, that's, that's what I'm looking for when I'm going to be grading your, um, your work. Okay, so make sure maybe width of 100% or whatever. Okay, so just make, th make sure things fit. It's not going to be the easiest part of the website by far. Um, this is a rather complicated navigation so please don't get discouraged because usually websites that you're going to work on are not going to be this big um, and the navigation isn't going to be so complicated so this really is a difficult part of the website so again please don't get discouraged um, if you can't kind of figure it out and make it just like this um, again just do your best uh, that's all i can ask for uh, and i will be around reading week so if you have questions just um, message me on Slack, okay?